happy Thursday, girls. Uh, Tara, I think it's a great idea for you to take on Monday. Um, while you're at it, why don't you just take on Friday, too? And, I mean, you're still going to keep your day, of course, right? So, I think that works out. Seems like today I'm looking back. Well, maybe tomorrow I'll see further than my little head allows me to. Okay, um, I'm going to start with answering your question, Tara, whether or not you should move. Um, I'm kind of in the same boat as Janelle as far as um, I think that you should be a little bit selfish right now, and I think you should kind of put yourself first and think about if it's the best thing for you versus the best thing for Steve, because if you're just doing it to make him feel good, then it's kind of pointless for you. Um, and like Janelle said, you don't want to end up screwed in the end. So. Um, like for me, I Dave asked me to start performing with him and uh, he wanted me to go on a job with him to Japan when we were engaged. And I mean, we were engaged, so I mean, the commitment's there, but I didn't want to do any traveling or help basically facilitate um, him in his career while giving everything up of mine unless the commitment was completely sealed as in being married. So. I mean, for me, I needed a serious commitment before I was just going to throw myself out there and do everything that was in the best interest of him. So, I just think that you should keep your own needs in consideration and uh, go off of that. Because, I mean, if you have enough there that you think you can remain independent from Steve, I think it's great, um, while still having a great relationship. But if you're going to not like it and if Steve wasn't there you wouldn't do it or you would be miserable then it's not quite the place for you just my thoughts so yeah. moving on um, I'm gonna do the bucket list with Janelle because I'm gonna go off of her time frame <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm just gonna go with it so I made up my bucket list today um, and I kind of stole from my 100 dreams list. I don't think I actually have 100, but it's something Dave and I did a while back. So, um, and it was kind of cool, Janelle, because a lot of the stuff on your bucket list I've already done. Um, so I don't think you should go ziplining in Canada, by the way, because ziplining is only cool if you do it through like a real rainforest. So go to Costa Rica or something and do the ziplining there because it's freaking fantastic. Um, so anyways, I just kind of felt kind of cool about my life because I even looked online for some ideas and I've done a lot of them so I, I don't know I thought that was a kind of a cool realization so loving this idea already um, but I did come up with some stuff um, I'm kind of scared of heights and so parasailing was like kind of a big deal for me and uh, it's totally relaxing so I loved it now I want to try hang gliding so that is on my bucket list. I'd love to do it in Coney Island this summer. And I'm going to be in New York all summer, by the way. So all this stuff I have to do in New York. So I kind of based it around that. Um, the other thing I want to do is punk some of my cast and crew members. And I'm going to do my question now because it pertains to that. But I would love some good punk ideas to do to them. Because they punk me so much and I never quite get them back as good as they get me. So, if you girls have any ideas on how to, like, punk some of the people around here, that'd be great. Specifically the elephant trainer, Ramon. Because he gets me the most. So, yeah, I want to uh, punk some of my fellow cast and crew. Um, I also want to take uh, the New York subway by myself and feel okay about it. Because I'm super not okay with public transportation. Um, I'd like to make that a little bit better. So... Yeah, my goal is to take the subway by myself and not have a heart attack. I also want to work on my flexibility and be able to touch my toes by the end of the summer because I'm super not flexible. And, um, well, I'm like flexible in weird ways, but not the normal ways. So, yeah, I'd really like to be able to touch my toes by the end of uh, the summer. And if I could do more, that'd be great. I'm really bad about stretching. I just do not enjoy it. Um, I also want to work on making every holiday worthwhile. I kind of let that slip a little bit this year um, but I'd really like to celebrate every holiday and make it awesome uh, number six I'd like to read three books this summer I used to read a lot and so three might seem low to some of you guys but um, I just kind of stopped reading for a while so I'd like to read three books this summer I also want to pay off our truck and trailer the truck I'm currently in and our RV I'd like to pay that off this summer so hopefully I can do that um, I'd also like to learn Russian to the point where I can have a basic, like super basic, 
conversation in Russian because there's a whole Russian area in New York. So that's uh, another one of my bucket lists. Um, the last two is I'd like to take a hot air balloon ride. So I don't know if they do that in New York, but I'd like to do it because I just have this height thing. So anything that can make me feel a little bit more comfortable with heights, I'm like to do. Except skydiving, <laughs> like Janelle said. No, thank you. Um, and then last, number 10, is I really want to try to take more part in like the community's festivities. Um, New York has a lot going on, especially in Coney Island. They have freak shows and they have mermaid parades and they have all these really cool things. And um, I just kind of want to throw myself into the community and do the things that they really like to do and take part in the things that they throw. Um, the parties, the festive, the festivities, just everything. I just kind of want to like embrace all of Coney Island has to offer and just really get myself in there and enjoy it. So um, I'm going to try to be doing a lot while we're there and just taking it all in for what it is. So that is my bucket list. I'm excited to keep you guys posted. Um, oh, and by the way, in case you guys don't know, which you probably don't, I got Invisalign, so I'm wearing it right now. It's like clear retainers, and it's going to make my teeth perfectly straight. So I've already had two sets of braces, but I had my wisdom teeth pulled and my teeth have moved. So going back to perfection. Uh, and they're cool, so I like them. It's good. I'll be wearing them all summer, and after that for about nine months. So. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm not going to say I'll see anyone tomorrow because I just don't know anymore.